Hi folks, four sections to this video and four amps. Can the Katana even compete here? I've tried to keep the sounds typical of each amp in each clip. No pedals used, except I had to use a small, mild, transparent overdrive on the Supro. I'll explain that in a bit. Let's go on with the comparison. First up is the classic British sound in the form of the Marshall Astoria 30 watt all valve combo starting first at bedroom volume. <laughs> Next up from New York City we have the Supro Tremo Verb 25 watts all valve class A. I had to cheat a little bit, it just won't compress enough to the same level as the other amps unless I turn it full up. So I had to cheat with a little bit of, it's a very transparent overdrive from Tone City, the sweet cream. Doesn't seem to colour the sound, it's not a mood boot, a mood boost? <laughs> I, could do, I could do with a mood boost. <laughs> it's not a mid boost, it's a full frequency booster so had to use that. We have the Cornell Romani 12, hand built, hand wired from Dennis Cornell down in the south of England. Built around late 50s tweed style fender amps. It has a 6L6 in the power stage. <laughs> Katana 100 combo, non-valve but feature loaded. I'm going to show you three shades of dirt from this amp, uh, starting with some mild breakup. So we'll start with clean channel and a little bit of the blues drive 
uh, button turned up. <laughs> up by switching up to the crunch channel but no boost and 75% gain on the gain knob. <laughs> channel but maximizing the gain knob and adding a little bit of blues drive. <laughs> four amplifiers because they're all different uh, four different shades all of the same thing but four definitely different shades uh, I love them all and I don't feel I'd want to sell any of them I love on one extreme sort of the, the hairy chestedness of the Marshall and how it's so unruly and it's kind of dull and flat sounding and a bit woofy and flubby around the bottom end but I love that sound then the other extreme you've got the the cornell which is so articulate and tight around the bass notes and everything's just so crystal clear and easy to hear gorgeous i'm loving it then you've got the the supra which seems to be it's the smallest box and the smallest speaker so you, you hear that kind of mid-range maybe even boxiness but i quite like it i, I really like it it's intriguing to me and then you've got the boss katana which i just love of course it's just that amp can do no wrong um, so I'd love to hear what you think. Have I got a favourite? No. No, I don't have a favourite at this point. So thanks very much for watching as always. Catch you on the next video. Cheers. <laughs>